This is the Roy and Brick Dairy Chevre Cheese Making Kit, which we're going to use to make goat cheese in under an hour. Preparation. Measure one teaspoon of citric acid into one cup of cold water. Filtered or bottled is preferable. Stir to dissolve completely and set aside. Break the rennet tablet into quarters and dissolve a quarter rennet tablet into a quarter cup of cold water. Stir to dissolve completely and set aside. So we'll begin by heating the milk. The milk is pasteurized but not ultra pasteurized, which is important because the naturally occurring bacteria in the milk is needed in order for the curds to properly form. Gently pour the milk into the pot. Heat the milk over a medium low flame, stirring frequently, until the milk starts to be very steamy, foamy, and small bubbles have formed along the sides of the pot. If you have a thermometer from our mozzarella making kit, the temperature should reach 185 degrees Fahrenheit. It should take around 15 to 20 minutes for the milk to heat up. Add the citric acid and water. Stir slowly with a slotted spoon for 30 seconds. Add the rennet and water. Stir slowly with a slotted spoon for 30 more seconds. Turn the flame off. Cover the pot and let it sit for 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, we're gonna get ready to start draining the curds. So you'll take your cheesecloth and you'll want it folded at least once, maybe twice, and line your colander with it. And then you can place your colander into the sink. Using your slotted spoon or a strainer if you have one, gently lift the curds out of the pot and let the whey drip back and then gently transfer them into the cheesecloth. So at this point, after the curds have been draining for 10 minutes, we're gonna add the cheese salt. So you can add a teaspoon or a little more to taste. We're just gonna sprinkle it over the top. And if you're gonna be baking with the cheese, you might wanna add a little bit more because that will help the cheese stay smooth as it heats up. And then we're going to gently mix the salt into the curds. Place your cheese mold in a shallow dish or a bowl, and then gently lift the curds from the cheesecloth into the mold. So you can see that it's already still continuing to drain, and that's why there are holes in the side of the mold. So once your mold is full, we're actually gonna place this in the refrigerator and let it continue to drain for at least two hours. And the longer you let it drain, the firmer it will be. After two hours, run a blunt knife around the inside of the mold to loosen the cheese. Carefully turn the mold upside down or use a small spatula to remove the cheese from the mold in one piece. If you'd like to season your goat cheese, you can sprinkle a couple of tablespoons of the herbs de Provence onto a plate and roll your goat cheese in the herbs. And so now you have your fresh homemade goat cheese.